Hey, Scrappy. How you doing? This meow. So, so I had a busy day sleeping on the big table. Ready for dinner? Yeah? All exhausted from all your sleeping? <clears throat> it was a nice cool day today. Yeah? Yeah, huh? Hmm. So I have your meaty pate with super supper. <clears throat> and uh, chicken skin and kibble. So let me bring out the food. Okay, so I'm going to get up and bring out the food, okay? Okay, so I'm going to open the door now. So I'm going to take a step back just to see if he wants to come in or not. I'm going to pick up the food. Hey, Scruffy. So I'm blinking. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to bring up the food. Oops, stuck in the leaf. Oops, okay, he's going that way. Okay, I'm going to put the food on the table. And I'm going to get the water. <clears throat> I'm going to close the door. <clears throat> I just realized I forgot to start the microwave. So, I'm going to have my dinner kind of late tonight. That sucks. Okay, so new water in. Okay, so I'm gonna sit in the chair now. I'm gonna get the glove. The meow. So the weather cooled down today, so our heat wave is now behind us. And yeah, it was actually a really nice spring day. Imagine that. Spring and spring. So, it's very sunny though, so I still have to worry about the UV index. But yeah, the temperature was uh, quite a bit cooler from uh, what we've been experiencing for the past week or so. I don't know, actually, but I think the last month has been kind of hot. So... Oops. He's moving around quite a bit. I guess you like the pets today, huh? So I don't know, maybe Scruffy likes the cooler weather. So I've always heard cats like hot weather. Remember one of my friends once told me yeah, he lost a whole bunch of uh, computer monitors, the old style CRTs, to cats because his cats would always 
sit on top of the CRT because it was always hot there. And basically it caused all the CRTs to explode. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's because of the heat or cat fur getting in the electronics or what. But yeah, he kept losing monitors because of the cats. Because they're drawn to the heat. Um, let's see. So I've been trouble sleeping the past few nights. So I took a sleeping pill last night, <clears throat> and I went to bed early. Okay. So okay. So was a cough or a sneeze. So I slept. I guess a full night's sleep. Got up early, I think before eight. But I was still exhausted, I think, from the sleeping pill. So I got up for a little bit, tried to do tried to do some work. It wasn't working well. So I ended up going back to sleep. Wow, oh, you're having trouble tonight, huh? Allergies? Okay. Wow. Seem like the pets. So keep heading. So what's the pets? Now that's very odd. Having a coughing attack. It still wants to be pet. So, anyway, yeah, I went back to sleep. And yeah, I think I got up like a little afternoon. So yeah, that sleeping pill really screwed me up. But I guess I slept. <laughs> wow, you're having some problems, Scruffy. <laughs> I keep petting you. Yeah, you're really into it tonight. We're getting close to food time here. I don't know, really like the pets. 
Not sure when it should stop. Okay, I think we're we're back for up here, huh? Just when I think I'm gonna feed you, you want more pets. Thought I heard him purr for a second there, but I'm not sure. It's like a lot of noise in the background. This is a very noisy street. I heard another purr. Okay, let's get your food. Okay, let's do your food, okay? <clears throat> Brushes. You can see there's a piece of fur kind of dangling there. Whoops. Not sure why he jumped. He didn't really catch anything. Just the brush. We're on the soft side now. I haven't cleaned the brush in a while, I probably should do that, but I'm kind of lazy. Do it another day. So, I'm done. <clears throat> so, I went for a run late this afternoon. So, even though it was cooler, you know, still worried about the UV index. Unfortunately, is. We get closer and closer to summer, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to run any earlier, even when it's cooler, just because I'm getting fried by the sun. So I tried out, tried out my new hat and a, a UV protective shirt with the long sleeves on my long run today. Um, since it was later in the day, I probably didn't need the shirt, but... I want to try it out in the long run to see if it would keep me too hot or accumulate too much sweat. Um, overall, I think it, it did fine. So, yeah, pretty nice shirt. Um, when I started my run, the hat actually blew off my head. So, we actually got a, a bit of a breeze today. And uh, so, I actually wasted like the first minute of my run or so fiddling and chasing down my hat. So I had to tighten it, and then I tightened it too much, and so I had to loosen it. <clears throat> but my run went really well, so I think, yeah, by far, it was like my best time ever. I basically, it looked like I had actually kept pace, like my entire run. Um, so it was like a few minutes under my best time, though my counting isn't very accurate today because I probably, because of the, my hat problem, I was chasing down the hat and actually stopped my stopwatch uh, while I was doing that and 
but I was like further down the course, so <clears throat> um, I'm not exactly sure you know, where my time is, but I think even with all that, my time was just still so significantly better that, you know, it was definitely an improvement. I think probably the biggest factor was just because it was cooler today, so you know, like I said, the last month or so has been unusually hot for spring. It's been more like summer. And so I think, yeah, the weather going down today, the spring-like temperatures, very really high performance. I also suspect, though, um, so this is my first run since my cheat meal a few days ago, and so I probably have some like extra energy reserves from that. Um, so I did a bike bike ride yesterday, but yeah, this is my first run since um, that meal. And then I had a recovery day two days ago. So this is my first run since my recovery day. Uh, so I did the bike ride yesterday, so I you know, did technically have you know, a workout yesterday, but um, I think, yeah, it's probably, yeah, running is just so much harder on my body, probably just that rest day had a much bigger difference, plus the fact that my uh, running muscles are probably getting an extra day even uh, recovery, even though I was biking yesterday since I'm using different muscles, so probably help my performance there too, slightly. So sadly, I'm probably not going to have a good run like that for a while again. Because I expect it to get hotter and hotter. And I'm going to keep pushing myself. But, yeah. Nice to have that in my personal record book. Let's see, I saw a party at the park today. It was a graduation party, so a lot of uh, students in uh, uh, their uh, graduation gowns and caps. So I'm guessing they may have had a ceremony or something today earlier, and, and then they had a private party this uh, late afternoon. So, yeah, lots of party snacks and cake. And made me hungry. I'm craving cake, damn it. So, I saw a family of squirrels. They were under a car as I was coming by. So, I think there were three baby squirrels, I'm assuming, and there were two adults there, so I'm assuming one of them was the mother. And then uh, as I walked past, the other squirrels decided to ditch the car and run into somebody's uh, front uh, yard. And there were two more adult squirrels in there, uh, in the yard. So I don't know if they're related or just all the squirrels that came out there. I feel sorry for that uh, person who has to deal with all the squirrels in the yard. Yeah, the squirrels here, they're a little destructive. It's definitely at the park, you can see the destruction they've incurred. They've dug up giant holes all over the park for their burrows or something. So, yeah, this pretty intricate, uh, or I don't know if intricate is the right word, but there's a lot of them. Um, they have these burrows, holes everywhere uh, next to the trail. And they've, they're constantly uh, diving in as people come in and then coming out. And, and the holes seem to keep getting bigger and bigger.
I have enough to go for a grocery or run a few more days, I think. I'm running out of fresh vegetables and I'm actually running out of my soup. I've got one more container, which will last me a week, but then I need to make another big giant batch of uh, vegetable soup. So I think I'm going to stock up on uh, vegetables for that big giant pot I got to make. So I'm thinking I need to go grocery shopping in a few more days. The craving cake. If for some reason, yeah, I think I just read something about salmon or something. I started have a craving for salmon. So I actually do. One of the foods I did save when my freezer died was a big pack of uh, frozen salmon fillets. So probably should have one, but it's probably another four days to my next cheat meal at least. But I'm finding, yeah, my cheat meals kind of suck in the sense that I have a hard time going back to normal after my cheat meal. It's, it's a real struggle. I seem to do better when I just skip the cheat meal entirely and just stay on my diet the entire time. <clears throat> so, I don't know if I'm going to do a cheat meal. That soon, I want to wait a bit longer just because it's so hard to bounce back for me. So I think I have two or three more helpings of chicken skin for Scruffy. It doesn't actually mix in too well with pate, but he doesn't seem to care. The only thing I don't want is uh, I cut up the chicken skin so he can't steal it out of the bowl and take it elsewhere. Though he has done that before, even with the small pieces I, pieces I cut up. So that's why I try to mix it into the food so it's harder for him to steal it. It's no fun when Scruffy runs away. So I saw Scruffy sleeping on the big table again. And, uh, yeah, he was there most of the day. So he seems to have returned to the big table as a hangout place. And yeah, he seems to be sticking around more today. I do wonder if it's because of the heat. So uh, he seems to disappear when it gets really hot. So I wonder if he has like a different place he likes to hang, hang out to stay cool. Something to eat everything. So yeah, it looks like the chicken skin is slowed down again tonight. You can see that torn piece of fur that I haven't cleaned up yet. Looks like he's going to groom himself. Kind of in sight for once. 
I think I kind of want to go in. So as I mentioned, I forgot to start my mic microwave with my dinner in it. So that means when I go in, I got to start my microwave and wait for my dinner. So there are frozen vegetables in my soup that I added. So it takes longer to cook. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go in. So thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.